First came the cronut, then came the ramen burger. And in the next wave of mashup foods, behold the ramen rito. Press Tea is a tea shop in the West Village plating up some unusual eats and drinks. In addition to creative tea-based beverages, Press Tea also has a whole new line of uncommon Asian fusion dishes. Now, as its name suggests, it is a mashup between ramen and a burrito. Instead of rice, it calls for ramen noodles, and these specific ramen noodles are made by Noodler to the Stars, Sun Noodles, so it's a Hawaiian-style noodle flavored with garlic and cilantro and some other spices mixed in. Now, you can get chicken and steak, you can even go for veg. In place of ramen noodles, you can also get noodled zucchini, another option, and then an umami egg, and whenever you have the option to put an egg on it, of course you should. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit intimidated, not only to attempt to finish this, but I don't even, I have a fork, because I wasn't really sure how to even go about attacking this thing. I would advise anyone that eats this, don't take off the foil, because then it's gonna fall apart. Mm. This is not the neatest thing to eat, so if you're going on a date, this might not be the thing to order, because I don't know if you can make that look sexy. It's delicious. I mean, it tastes exactly like ramen noodles stuffed into a burrito, but we have a lot of we have a lot of flavors going on here. You have, you definitely pick up on the garlickiness in the noodles. The noodles themselves are really, I mean, I don't know if you can kind of see here. They're really stringy and chewy and they kind of glisten. And then you have um, some flavor from the pulled pork. I think that without the vegetables, it would be a little bit one note. It would be soft from the noodles, soft from the pulled pork, and the, uh, the vegetables add a much needed uh, textural component to the burrito. So I actually would recommend when you come here, definitely get some veg in there, some green. Corn adds also some good texture. But two o'clock in the morning when you're drunk, the most amazing late night food in the history of late night food, let me tell you. I didn't know it could be done, but hey, press tea's on it. <laughs>